last time you and I met was uh, in the Pleasant Garden in Lagos at the time when you were um, information chief for the Nigerian government. I had hoped to see you again, but I must say in more, in happier circumstances than at the present. Uh, at that time, did you have any premonition, any feeling that something like this would happen? No, I didn't have any feeling that something as disastrous as this would happen, but everyone had a feeling of impending disaster from the way the census figures were being rigged, from the way the election results were being played about with. Everybody felt that something was coming, something really ominous, but nobody could predict the, the, the depth of it. No. But we all had this sense of doom hanging over us. In fact, the word revolution was mentioned a number of times, but it was a strange thing. No one had ever had what a revolution was or experienced it. But people knew something bad was coming. Yeah. Yes. Did you uh, uh, stay in Lagos for some time after the outbreak of uh, hostilities? Oh, yes. I stayed in Lagos nearly a month. And not the outbreak of actual fighting. But um, when um, the Ronzi regime was overthrown, there was a sort of vacuum. People didn't know what would happen next. And I was in Lagos up to that time until I started getting evidence that uh, my neighbors were being taken off in the night and killed. So self-preservation is the first law of nature. I had to escape. They did that in Lagos? Well. They did that in Lagos, yes. They did that in Lagos as well. In fact, we have a boy on the federal ministry who barely escaped death, but his companion with whom he was kidnapped was actually killed. He's here in Biafra. So when you, the word the genocide, which we hear in connection with the, with the war here, is, uh, is a word which people always will have difficulties in accepting in a sense. But what is your real opinion on it? Well, my real opinion is that once Biafra has succeeded in proving that there is an intention for genocide, this is all we need. And we have ample evidence of that. Of that. Genocide is the ethnic extermination of a people. You prove genocide when everybody has been killed. Biafrans do not want to wait until everybody has been killed. They have seen the signs of the intention. Um, our people were killed in hundreds of thousands. The war has come. It isn't a war of unification, as we are told. It is a war of extermination. Our girls have been abducted and married off to strange people. Um, all the various things you do so as to com commit genocide are being done. We don't want to wait until it is complete. Therefore, we have the intention. By the way, all this began many, many years ago. As far back as 1947, uh, Biafrans were attacked in Kano. In 1953, the same thing happened. Genocide is not spontaneous. It's a subtle process, which is a result of government propaganda. A government now uses the organ which, it, uh, uh, which should be used for protecting a people. It turns in that, that organ against the people and starts killing them using the government means. And everybody is indoctrinated to hate a particular class of people, to want them out of the way, to want to kill them. This is what we mean by genocide. Bombing of civil befolkning har man sett før. I andre kriger. Og Biafranenes påstand om et bevisst forsøk på folkemord fra deres motstanderes side ved, ved vold og ved utsultning vil mange utenforstående fortsatt ha. Biafra is at the moment experiencing jungle justice, which is the justice of might is right. Because we are under an economic blockade, we are under a propaganda blockade, we are under a diplomatic blockade. Nobody sees uh, what we are suffering, nobody hears what we are suffering, and... As a result of that, the wrong story is presented to the world. We are not heard, and therefore we cannot be judged except on the basis of the lies being told about us. When we have been able to overcome this jungle justice and we are heard, then we will then get the civilized justice because our case will be brought into the open. And once the case into the, is in the open, you cannot play tricks. We are now victims of blackmail because we are being suppressed, we are being muzzled. But you still fight on. We fight on, oh yes, Biafra fights on. Biafranenes tyngre våpen er erobret fra deres motstandere. 
Tilførsler får de også gjennom internasjonale svartebørsvåpenhandlere, og det sies også fra Portugal og Frankrike. Skjønt de fleste våpen man... All right, uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening from wherever you are watching me this time around. And I said, uh, um, I just uh, want to actually uh, thank you uh, for coming around once again. Uh, my name is Mansima Aizayoba. I am reaching you from my location this afternoon, uh, this morning rather. Um, of course, we just want to have a brief discussion of what is uh, the new development we have right now in Lagos and also across the entire Zoological Republic and um, how we have been hated and uh, how uh, some countries like Britain is engineering the hatred of Igbo Biafrans in Nigeria to be eradicated so they can have a free access to oil, unrestricted free access to oil, which they have sucked and they drink for over 100 years. Some of you do not know that the British have been drinking our oil, sucking it for over 100 years. That's exactly what leads to the first massacre of Biafrans 1947. As you hear, as you heard it from this brother, um, who also we are running for their life um, in Lagos. 1967 ironically <laughs> um that's why i ask some question here is it too late for us now to uh, to uh, to come back home or have been are we now in another um defensive um, situation that consumed nearly seven million people 1967 to 1970 and uh, unfortunately, this is what we have been talking about. This is the clarion call we have been calling for for several for several uh, uh, years now, and uh, up until this time around, when you know it has come to the clarity of our people, which is really really sad now that uh, too little, too late. But um, I don't know if they will have opportunity to escape. Uh, what is about to come because what is about to come is 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 a big one it will be worse than what we experienced 1967 and 70 and uh, we warned our people as usual and they ignored us we mostly those ones in lagos and those ones in the north we warned them heavily warned them we cried here some of you can go back as last year and i said i will never cry again for our people, if they are being killed in the north or outside Biafra land, I will never cry again. I told them just a couple of months ago for them to start thinking and start looking towards home. And they think that we are actually, you know, uh, cl clowning around as they, as they think that we are stupid. You know, these traders sometimes, these evil traders, they think that they are very smart. They, you know, it's, everything is all about business, trade. Thread, you know, it's all about threading. They thread their head, they thread their soul, they thread their mothers, they thread their. Okay, we're back now. Uh, so, uh, this is the situation, unfortunately, we found ourselves, and uh, we we try to educate our people. We try to educate our people. We call them. We call them. Even at a point, Mazen Namdekano was uh, able to find a way to. Um, Mount radio station in Lagos, so to get our people informed. But our people in Lagos prefer not to listen to Radio Biafra. Not even what does it take for them to download Radio Biafra uh, app and uh, Biafra uh, IPOB community app? And listen, you know, it's a very low data consuming app. Very low data. It doesn't take much. As low as anything you can can imagine. And you can listen to Radio Biafra. I hear your brothers calling, hear what is happening in Biafra land, hear what is happening in some areas in Lagos you don't even know. You are living because you will receive you around you. You will receive you around you. You around you. You will receive you around you. You will receive you business in Lagos. One touch, a blood door was bombed here. That did not send a signal to our people in Lagos. A blood door, we saw it here Sunday morning like that. I was waking up. 
just early morning that is the very first thing that came on as soon as i turned the phone on Abulado was bombed thousands of Igbo people young kids who we are puppies people who are living in a dormitory we are bombed to pieces See, this very moment nobody is talking about it that matter have closed because it has to do with Igbo people I don't know what happened to that site now whether they have rebuilt it whether they have um, uh, you know uh, left it the way it was uh, the way uh, after the bomb blast or they have done something nobody knows what is going on you know and we want our people to begin to look towards east they totally ignore what we're saying they think that we are bigots they say we don't know what we're saying I know what I'm a million a lot of things are there. We want them. We want them. Now, many and a room they make no, no, a lot of things are there. We have seen it. Look at exactly what happened 1947, 1957, 1967. Exactly, the exactly what we are seeing now is what this our brother reported. 1975 and 76. This brother in Lagos, the same Lagos, the same Lagos. And now we have seen the uprising coming up in 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 the north. Kano, as our brother stay here, say he says, how did the Kano state uh, got license to open? A drive uh, that, that one is another my, my brother uh, uh, that is that question is out of is out of this what do you want me to answer you <laughs> what do you expect from me what is an answer you expecting from me how do they got the license the people who are running Nigeria who overrun Nigeria these people are from our side when we were saying that Nigeria has been taken over by Fulanese you people think I have asked this question and I asked it uh, the last time I was in uh, uh, St. Patrick here and I was saying, can anybody tell me which state, which area in Nigeria the Fulanese are indigenous? Can anybody tell me which part of Nigeria, if I'm allowed to use Nigeria, which part of Nigeria, this group of people called Fulanese, which part of Nigeria they are indigenous to? Where do they belong? If they are indigenous people to an area, now why are they killing people who are cohabiting with them? Why are they killing them? If they are indigenous people. If they are indigenous people. If people did not know what is coming. And look at Lagos today. And mind you, I want you to be very, very careful. I know we cannot do much. What you're seeing happening in Lagos is uh, orchestrated by the Tunubus talks and the uh, San Wolu, the state uh, uh, governor, current governor or outgoing governor. Um, if things did not work to you know the way they want it, of course they have the money. Uh, they are the one, uh, him and Jagaban. They are the one that have Lagos as their own private estate. So they have the money. They can unleash a lot of money. Um, to the talks as you see them running around going after Igbo people because what these people are trying so much to do now is the relationship Mazen Nam the Kano build with the genuine Yoruba or will I say the Duduwa freedom fighters is what they are trying to sow a seed of discord you know so that um, by the time Jagaban will come in as they rigged him in and uh, the whole land will be soft out for him, them and uh, they don't see ahead of time. Tunubu came to Enugu State just a couple of uh, weeks ago before the election and said that he, uh, uh, the Igbo people who will give them a uh, slight soaked of bread, you know, and give it to, you know. And Ohanez uh, Ndibo, Ohanez Ndibo was listening to that. They didn't do anything, they didn't challenge that. So what do you, Mr. Man, you are looking for a vote. What do you mean by giving us a slice of bread soaked in the water? They didn't ask that question, did they? They didn't ask about it. What do you mean? Is that a mark of disrespect or are you seeing us as a second-class citizen in this country? They didn't ask the question. They, they let him. They are the one that hosted him. If you try such nonsense in, in Hausa land, 
they will wait for your convoy. By the time you come out from that podium, you will be set at place on your convoy. They will wait for you. If they cannot do anything on that stage or cause pandemonium on that stage for making that utterances, they will wait for you. You come down. They will wait for you on your convoy. They will deal with you. But that happens on Igbo land. In Enugu. In Enugu state. Where we believe to be capital of Biafra land. The man makes such a, a very horrible utterances against the people he's looking a vote from. Disrespected them. That he will give them a slice of bread. Soaked in a water. And they clap for him. They laugh. Hey, Jagaman, he's always talking. They thought that he didn't mean it. Did any of you saw the 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 one he did? You know, the the what, what he told Yoruba. I don't know, even understand Yoruba. So I would, I wouldn't like to play that here. Where he is calling them on what to do to Igbo people in Lagos. After that statement a couple of days ago, what happened? Igbo people have been on on a serious threat now in Lagos. It's very sad that we have to you know face the reality. Uh, we told you, uh, as I said before, before I joined the Biafran movement, uh, this is the IPOB. Um, I, I saw it in a dream. I didn't know what was it. There's a lot of prophecies from different real men of God, not this one that you're seeing now. That's, they're saying that's an organization I'll, be, I'll, I'll find myself in. And they didn't mention it. For some reason, I don't know. But uh, why people, when I used to go to, you know, when I used to dabble, in the church you know so they came and one man from america came and said that you know there's something that will be a part of and they probably you know she doesn't he said it's not going to be too long and that was around 2012 12 by then i have not that was i have not even discovered radio Biafra to know what much of Biafra, even though i know it but i you know there's nothing I, and i wasn't paying attention to it and before I know it, I discovered Mazin Namdekano and started supporting him and the IPOB was born and, you know, May 38th and we move on up until now. And also the prophecy came as, as well from home. That there's the organization that I would join, you know, and and they didn't know what was it. They didn't mention it. So I said, okay. And they said I should not look towards pastor. If I'm thinking that it's part of, I should forget it in my mind because I was thinking that that could be maybe then there there's a vision that I have to be a pastor because that's what my mom had been calling me to go and they be a, you know they want me to she want me to be a pastor or something I said I don't know I don't do what I don't really have interest on in. but my mom was pushing at the time you know but and the pastor said no your own calling is bigger than what we are in can you see it. They said your own calling is bigger than the pastors. Not knowing, can, can you not see now that IPOB, Biafra Restoration, is bigger than a church? Do you see, and pastors and church and Christian and whatever you call it. You know, um, I was invited in a church. Um, it, it's my, it used to be my old church, you know. So I went there. Uh, as you saw some of the videos, some some morons are also asking me, do you call Jesus there? I said, I went there as an old school to try my mamkano panegu, mamkano nofe. You know, this is something that I did from child to to just a couple of years ago. A good singer, you know. So I just tried to see if I am still connected with my voice and with the rhythms of uh, music and uh, things like that. If I have lost it, because it's been years now, years, years. I said it, I'm a member of Assemblies of God, in case if you don't know. You know, it's been years I have not handled microphone as a singer. So I, I tried it to see if I can connect, you know, with the old songs, you know. So it doesn't mean that uh, I am saying that uh, Jesus, uh, uh, even if he conquers, he conquers the devil now, the Satan. He doesn't conquer our own people. I know that he's holding people, some of our people hostage. So I'm not, uh, it wasn't on a stage like the church is live and then I was singing for the people congregation. No, it was just after who, the Mother's Day service. I said, okay, the guys, my old school guys who are still playing was around. I said, okay, let's try it. Let's see whether we are still intact. You know, we tried and then, you know, somehow, you know, that short clip was it. 
So that's why I said I put it here so let everybody know that we are, you know, equal to the tax. We have multi talents everywhere. So we are in the struggle doesn't mean that we have nothing we were doing before then. You know, just for you to tell you that I to prove to you if I could look at the Christianity life today and the church life today and start condemning their life, that to prove to you that I am talking from my experience because I've been once there. So you should believe what I'm saying. I am not talking that uh, uh, you don't you are you are outside you are you know what do you know. Uh, you are always attacking Christians and church and all these things. No, I was there. I was brainwashed. I was brainwashed. I lost a lot of things in church, in Christianity, and I didn't get anything back. Nothing. I wasted my youth age serving a foreign a foreign god. Contributing, wasted my whole youth age, the time I supposed to look after myself, you know, enjoy my life as a youth, as the way I'm seeing the youth are doing here. I devoted my time in the church, devoted my money, wasted it, worshiping this uh, so-called Jesus that have destroyed our people back home now. Jesus is here. There was an altar cause, uh, praying for one Nigeria, pray for Nigeria. Jesus was there. And then there lack of lack of Muslim, Muslim ticket. But he's, Jesus is powerful. He has power to do everything. How many Christian church? How many places did there be churches did there be visited? How many churches? How many pastors? All these criminal useless pastors. How many of them that laid the hand on his head? I am asking some of you who don't know what we are doing. You think everything you just go on my wall, you, type, you write rubbish. You type rubbish. How many churches did they be visited to honor Jesus? To give reference to Jesus? Where is Jesus today on him? This is what we are saying. How many churches? Rather one that they, the idiot in, in Abuja came to pulling boot where he has thousands of followers. Thousands. I don't know. Is it a etcher or somebody etcher? Somebody etcher. I don't know. Is it Paul etcher or something? That has this biggest church in Abuja. That is his own industry. Peter Bin went to his church. And the, the whole congregation are about their board there. Then Paul Leche came to the pulling booth instead of him coming with the thousands and millions of those crowds that follows him to church. He came with only one person and the baby, his security guard. And he came in a pulling booth, completely distracted people who are making votes and started uh, delivering a woman who has a collar neck or whatever, which is a job, I don't know. God, there is a, rather than contributing to the deliverance of people, what will help the, the masses and deliver them from their the 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 what Maya everybody is suffering today in the zoo. He rather now begin to lay hand on a woman and uh, wear his spectacular distracted our people from voting. And all those Abrakata Abra he did, what happened in the end? Jesus left him. And uh, disappointed Peter. Be. The same thing happens to Jonathan because when we are talking, we give you references. And if you are praying, some of you that pray to believe in that uh, nonsense, Jesus, you can go then and also and ask him why he is he is he disappointing our people. It was in Lagos last year, or a year and a half ago. Our people who went to church in Lagos. The so-called uh, government came into Fulani government came into a church where Igbo people are worshiping. If I show you that video now, Facebook, I'm telling you, Facebook will, will block me here for 60 days. If you maybe you are taking me over my account, it was harrowing. Bodies of uh, church worshippers piled on top of each other when they were trying. They were gone down one after the other in a church. Everybody saw it. 
Everybody saw the video. In the church, Jesus was there. Thousands, hundreds of all of them, maybe eh, people that left that church, escaped that eh, aftermath was maybe one or two people, members in the church. All of them were, the body, the floor, blood was flowing like a river. And where was Jesus? The Reverend Father escaped. <laughs> he jumped the window once he saw the gunman on the door. He first of all escaped. And all the members, all of them, both in children were massacred. The video was so disturbing. It's not even allowed to be posted anywhere. Before your Jesus. Some of you do who doesn't understand what we're doing. When, when I'm talking, I'm once a member. I understand what we are doing. You know? So this is exactly what happened. This is exactly what happened. The same thing happens to Jonathan. Jonathan went to went to um what do you call this? Went to one of the East Yoruba churches. It's a Yodebo. A who president. President. We are talking about president. A who president of the country went went and kneeled down before a useless Yoruba pastor. That is how they reduce Jonathan to nothing. Do you know what that is? I know how that kind of psychological game works. Towards election time, they assured him they will vote for him. God have anointed you will be the next president. Jonathan went to their church, Europa church. He knelt down. They led their foolish hand on top of um, our brother's head, Jonathan. Only for him at the very last minute. At the very last minute. As usual, Jonathan was looked out of office. The next couple of days later, Oyodebo, Adeboye, all of them went and congratulated the fake, not the real Buhari, the fake Buhari. If they, in fact, the real Buhari, they went and congratulated him. The fake one came, also they went and congratulated him. The fake Buhari. These are so-called pastors. These are the people who praise to you and tell you Jesus will do this. Jesus is powerful. They use it to hoodwink all of you. If I go to church, because the church that I go here is an, the, the, the church I used to go here at the time is owned by Igbo, Igbo man. So I rather prefer to go to where an Igbo man is being, you know, um, a pastor rather than going where a Yoruba man is a pastor. So let me support my own. If you don't know what we are doing. So I don't want to deviate in what I'm saying today. So don't forget, on Thursday we are going to collect our award. I'm going to post it. <laughs> IPOB always win, isn't it? Now, so what am I saying? This thing that you're seeing happening now, this is what we warned our people in advance. A lot of things are going on. The other time I played this uh, a dada man. Dada man who, who somebody saw in the town and, uh, you know, how the guy realized that this man was going to deliver a message is what I don't know. The driver or the occupants of the vehicle. I did not know for the life of me how he he he, he turned the camera on when at the critical right time. And the man was able to deliver the message to him. Was it that dog had the man do the occupants of the car do I say, what can we do now? That was the response. Let me see if I can get that. Let me see. Because in the banner not. We don't listen. They had a mind. in Lagos. Yesterday, people went to church. I couldn't believe now. No to hear she corona Lagos. No to hear people can agar church. People went to church. And they were coming back. The Yoruba people, or the talks, and I wouldn't say the Yoruba talks, 
the political talks, wait for them as they were coming for back from the church. The videos are very harrowing. And most of them were killed. Most of them cars burnt. Most of them has serious head injuries. Most of them has stab wounds. Some of them has completely, you know, you'll be asking what the heck is going on. And some of them, let me play some more. Let me play some audio voice. I have something here. I'll play something to you. Because once, once we are talking like this, people think, you know, um, I know some of them are coming back now to to, to, to ask for apology. I, we, we, we got it wrong. We apologize. I saw this guy, that this comedian who... who who, who who always at uh, Mr. O or whatever he whatever these are these are morons who doesn't understand what we are saying. Now he's coming to the now they are coming to say we are sorry. And I'm telling you all these fools now who claiming they are they are sorry now sorry now. can hear she bang with you now. You hope I have one. If you office again, has uh, you call them let has no no things that have normalized now. You know it used to be that time. Man, I do know. Uh, country now, nah, nah, they do the cash no to seize it. Okay. Citizens, it is like they will go now as they go their own currency. Imagine American dollar in America. You are using dollar to buy dollar in America, or you are using pounds to buy pounds in America. And this lunatic called Katrina Lang came out the other day with even him and Lagos, very shameless woman. You see how she's smoking at a woman, a woman. The same Flora Shaw. Flora Shaw was the person who named Nigeria. You are answering today. Nigger area. That is what it's called. Nigger area. Flora Shaw. And today, another woman came. Run the economy amok. Because I will remind you that Nakatrana Lang is the de facto president of Nigeria. And that's why she's doing whatever she's doing with impunity without any any sort of remorse she can summon meeting with all the palestators she can go to communities she can visit any governor at will at will and none of you you people are seeing it on the, the social media seeing it on the video are seeing it everywhere katrina lang went to meet governor this one katrina lang was sitting with a, a nigerian military commanders uh, katrina lang is, is, is meeting with the uh, ig police of uh, of nigeria katrina lang is meeting with the northern elders katrina lang is meeting with the Igbo elders katrina lang is meeting with the south south uh, traditional rulers katrina lang is meeting with the uh, militants in the in the river line area Katrina Lang is meeting with the Nigerian youth. Katrina Lang is uh, offering free education to 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 visas to to uh, Nigerian youth to go to uh, uh, the Katrina, and the people are not asking. People are not asking. Who is this woman? Where did she come from? Who authorized her? This is ordinary, ordinary High Commissioner, Ambassador. Why is she? Summoning meetings. She run the economy amok. I have said this and I keep saying this. Go and look at her record in Zimbabwe. Go and look at Catherine Alan's record. It goes on Zimbabwe now the can the can tissue paper. That's what she did. It goes on Zimbabwe. She came to Nigeria and Nigerian money went from top to bottom from top to bottom, destroyed it. Do you know why she did that? So that when you use pounds or dollar to come and buy something in Nigeria, it will work nothing. You can use a hundred dollar or a hundred pounds just to buy something that worth millions more. Do you see how the game works? In my economy. But we can, like Comrade Chena Sangoru said, he said that we, we, are, we did not go to us for the university or school, if you like. But we live on a school road. That's what Comrade Chena Sangoru said. <laughs> and once he said that, it might happen nothing, I'm not that they naked the blockers. These guys, um, it's, 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 these, are, these are old school guys running this affairs. We did not do economy, but we know what economy is all about because we live here. We know how economy is being run. Katrina Rank, Burego, Nigeria. Boye. 
Because all manner, this is the only way. That is her job. Ubuego Nigeria. So that once you bring pounds, you can use pounds and buy, and buy you know, if you change it to Naira, you, it will turn out to a very bad, massive money. You can use it to purchase as many things as you want. Imagine bringing 5,000 pounds. 5,000 pounds. Let's say, imagine bringing 5,000 pounds now to Nigeria. You buy one big grow almost a complete two story building. Or you bring about 10,000 pounds. Why 10,000 pounds here? 10,000 pounds or 10,000 dollars? You can have one deposit of one bungalow. Deposit. Nobody will say you say, okay, you can have a deposit of 10 or 10,000 euros. No law. Just all one room, one room flat. One, one room flat. You can't use it. And you put it up. But you can use this 10,000 pounds to grow completely, you know, estate. That's what Katrina Lang, that's her job. During the time, I know Queen, I know why I'm not going to this thing, going to wake up at Hanuk. During the time the Lee Buhari was alive, Mbokara interviewed na Al Jazeera with this guy, this lady, I can't remember her name. Anybody who remember her name can just mention it here. She went there. He went there to for an interview. The lady asked him, also, the lady also asked him about the killings of Biafrans and uh, Mazen Namdekan and the attack. He said that uh, we should organize ourselves, you know, for referendum and uh, run a government within government or whatever. You know, you know, I, I may not get it exactly how he said it. But when this woman asked Buhari, why don't you devalue Naira to tell you how wicked this is? Westerners are and how wicked the Europeans are. They were asking the real Buhari to devalue the Zoo, the Zoo Naira currency. And he said no. The, the, as a general, that man is. We know he's a corrupt man. But as a general, he look at this lady with the, you know, this bold fearlessness of, you know, mean face. And said, why would I devalue Naira? Why? That's what the real Buhari said. Go and look at 2016. That interview was conducted on him. He said, why would I devalue the Naira? Bold with a vicious face. You know he's a vicious man. And before they brought you this pussycat where they brought you now that is uh, saying from top to bottom, from top to bottom, from top to bottom. Nigeria from top to bottom. Look at Nigeria today inflation of money and uh, once they could not end up they decided to go and you know seize the money they borrowed a lot of money in china so they have to pay the money back you people do not know what is going on where is wrote me amechi today have any of you remember to ask uh, where is wrote me amechi where is he where is wrote me amechi have you heard about him since uh, the last time now? Maybe him, a couple of them are here, they will just go and I got what that will They went and uh, they killed the Naira. Uh, look at the inflation of money today. That is the work of Katrina Lang. That's what she came Destroy the economy. Make the economy worthless. Make the economy worthless. So that we can have Nigeria at the tip of just one pound, two pounds. They can get anything they want. And uh, the only group of people who are standing in their way is the uh, Iboris, the Biafrans. Where the oil and natural resources is mostly you know, found. So they have to control it, and how would they control it? Suppress an evil man to the to, to 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 be worthless. Now they instigated violence against the evil race, but they are talking about human rights, they're talking about democracy, talking about everything. Once it goes to evil man, 
they change, you know, the case are different. These Katrina Lang and British were the one who saw Gumi coming out in the open and saying that the Fulani terrorists who are killing thousands, who have killed thousands, everybody have seen it. Which they turn to bandits now. That have killed thousands of people. Katrina Lang went and meet Gumi. She went and meet Gumi and sat with a terrorist. Somebody who has been declared a terrorist. Even in Dubai, I think it was one of these Arab countries. Catherine Alam went and sit with this woman, this guy. Who said that the Fulani killers are his warriors. An arrest was not called. Elder Fire, the Mitch Get, came and said that um you know that uh, what the, which you, that uh, instead of an evil man to be a president, he rather goes to war. He was not reprimanded. The same came 2019, made a threat to the whole entire Western world that if you people mess up here in the 2019 election, that uh, most of you, in fact, not all most of you, all of you who come here will go back in your body bags. The Europeans and the Western world Americans pretend like they did not hear such open threat. Open threat. The World Global Terrorist Index did not hear that as an open threat. They didn't see it. They didn't hear hell they have a United Nations did not hear it. This is what we are saying. This is the problem we have. The United Nations did not hear it. And the threat where a sitting governor said that the people will go, people, visitors, the Western world who came to Nigeria, they will go in their body bags. And nothing was done. The same Katrina Lang spearheaded the killing of Nigerian youths on answers. Nothing was done. No Nigerian military was arrested. None of them were pre uh, prosecuted. Uh, prosecuted. Uh, the governor, state governor, is still today leading a group of thugs who are attacking Igbo people in Lagos, in their own Nigeria. And nothing was done. You see what we're saying? Do you see what we're saying? And this is exactly what we are talking about to let our people know. That you are not wanted in Nigeria. This thing we are playing here is the same thing this our brother experienced 1967. 1967. The annihilation of Igbo people in Lagos. The same British are the one that who made the way the Igbo young military men and the, you know who are serving in the Nigerian you know, military, who wants a better Nigeria. After Amadou Bello met his, uh, his uh, ridiculous utterances, it was the British who went and signaled the, the hierarchy military officers, who most of them from, you know, from Igbo land, from, you know, mainly from, from the same coastal region where they're claiming that um, they are not Igbo people today. Nzogu is from the coastal region. Do you know that? Hmm. It's from the coastal region. But they are calling it Igbo Q. But they say that coastal region no, is not Igbo. The way they are using this, this, this kai 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 called Mwikena. You will be talking like a, 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 retro, a, like a, a rogue he is. After they have used him now, they are waiting for him. And they check for it too. Make a hook a go some week pepper, hag up your way on. Upon week. How much and week hag a me? Maybe they would now say the dear friends, you people can go. Because that's the only. Oh, when you go for a happy, happy, I shake up. Upon week. Of course, you are not a neighbor. Bosso warrior, Guinea Comrade, Yabo Patibo, Dagua, and Yendebe, and Yendebe, and Yendebe, and Mendeba. 
the same idiot who claimed that he doesn't, it's not Igbo. He doesn't speak Igbo. He said in Wike, it's not in Wike. <laughs> Wike. It's not in Wike. Now it's a, a river line language. Now say, when they was saying, oh, how on them marriage in a lot of big then, no big then, no they push you. Until many people say, they couldn't go any further. Because all of them are ordinary river. All of them are so sure now they are ordinary river. People would have crossed it. They would have crossed it. Because, because it's an ocean. You can't cross it and go anywhere else. People have to stop there and settle there. As some of us today, when you grow to adult age, you leave, to, you leave your father's compound, you move further down and go and build your own, uh, take a land and build your own houses. This is how we continue to migrate. Do you know in Anambra, name will be say Anambra? You see why we are one people? In Anambra, they have not been said. The same be In my hand, I wear. Nah, he say, nah. He say, if you, nah, a boy, a thought, and not, he say, nah, he say. We believe in our mind, I'm here. We are here to educate our people to 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 ask how they see you one day, see one night, see you now, now one day go. But then you know, he you you choose. I want a new zoo here two days, a couple of days ago. A guy, a guy, a lot of money, a girl, a yali, a yali for many years. Hello, Bri, but maybe I'm up on one, I'm on that one, I don't know. It was a news I had on the radio here, local radio here. He didn't know. Well, the woman, the woman, I have a kidney problem. I said, I gave up with the kidney. So, dear, send me, I got donate one of his kidney. No, no more than my daughter. On a game, when they buy, dear, send me, I got donate one of his kidney. Because you can still survive with one kidney in case if you don't know. Once you are healthy enough for your, your, your one kidney can keep you up going until even you reach your old age. So the husband said that I would donate one of his kidneys to save the wife. Really, a man in the So they have to run both blood tests, DNA tests to know, you know, if the blood are related or at least everything in the okay. When they were doing the DNA test, they discovered that none of the man is not on your be as only a lady as one year old cousin here. One year one. Oh dear. You see what we're saying? One year one. A lawyer, a man, all one year one for how many years? All the baron were test, the blood test, I discovered. So, him to buy here, he had a Z, a Z, a Z, go the guy. Now, when you all last, when you know one year one cousin, blood, blood, blood related cousin, Kayali Abbey says. But he and his Z is the only one, if for on your other paragalia, yeah, we're in. That is what we are doing here. That is exactly what we are doing here. We can say that Nia will win. But in the Fulani, the how the Fulani is who put him in power. Also, no, 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 Ngila, Pastor Ngila, of Yoruba Pastor. She about her new signal. Mwike, you are very important in this election. You will be powerful. Mwike should be protected. All hope. Mwike should be prayed. Uh, they, they, we should, should, should take care. Should be careful. No guardian very important in her name. Do you see how Yoruba even use Ndibo play play them politics against their own? The full and they use them play politics against their own. Even they don't play the bini 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 will use them play their politics against their own. That is the mess we find ourselves in. This guy, which uh, I'm not supposed to, I, I, you know, we're on social media, whatever we see, we, we, we keep record and we say it when the time comes. This guy called we're comedian Naza O. Oh. Born on I make his own stupid confession. As uh, 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 I, at that time, I was uh, I was saying that Peter be up here, Peter be up here. Now, I'm going to make his name the canon. Now, I'm going to make his name the canon. Peter be. Now, I'm going to go to work here. The name make confession. The name. Can you listen to himself? I like his comedy. 
This one that dress like Jesus always. I like his comedy. I always listen to him. But when that thing in my do I say, what kind of people are we? Are we? Are we? You know what? What are we doing? You know what kind of people do we do we have in what we're doing? Now, now after you have, you know. Or mass make win, Mazen man the kind of cosy pop that near by the side. Oh, turn your family to make a broken and better by the side. No, no, so cha, call up this union and social media mislead our people all over the place. When IPOB was saying, No, 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 so one man who could shine, never was happier. Caught as lano worry home, and don't keep as lano worry home, and this shall as lano worry home. Can't pull no queer, when your platform, woman can run with this man, call for that. No, no, see, no, na kaji ban gambling. Gaga wata your PVC, the idiot, no, na 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 social media, see, I go ego. No, mislead our people with their platform. Gaga wata ni PVC, wata ni PVC. I ain't sponsored by them. But na asi him, asi him, no, 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 PVC. I ain't asi him, no, 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 now it has the situation now have gotten to the worst now. Even Mandi Kanye na hano here, Mandi Kanye New Europe here. The only people who are talking about the freedom of and the attack of our people in Lagos now still remain IPOB. The only people, the only people, do not brush. It's only IPOB that is still talking about the freedom and the na like what some people na social media now. I keep telling our people, Igbo Union, do they issue any communique? How no channel but that now around for them no American master in Europe here. Maybe within before the most rotters now, you won't hang up a meeting in Belize, but I got now now come my ango. I love to be in their midst because of my people. But what is the agenda? Can he want to do with our people? Only he hang me. Makandia ba yonono long pro here. Hanago kuha. Ke hane me makandia ba ne ibuna ali ibu. Hanago kuha. Me ba ne me ibuna hane ibu kuha ne issue ni komunike. So only the meaning, only the function of Ibo Union and other so Ibo Social Cultural Club organization here here and there. Ota has fragmented, fragmented all over the place. What is their purpose? I want to know. Because I gonna abo one yoto here. You believe I am a rival. Stupidity, I am a rival. Or why people be opposing Nigeria St. Patrick here? Because the people, the, the people who were here before I am a match all these years, the people who were here from St. Patrick here presented the image of Nigeria, the image of Nigeria here as a country was the Igbo people. But there will be the organizers, they will organize the St. Patrick, they will be, you know, as a Nigerian community, that's the, how they answer their name, that as a Nigerian community. But then you will see Onya Onya Fulani will, will be the leader. The Yoruba man will be the back man. Then Dibo people will be the ones that will be the number of people on the ground that will wear the, uh, the Nigerian, you know, costumes and the flag and all these things. They will be the one better. Once all that is, you can have. I can help you with poko there. Then they will go out on Sunday. Then they organize. Then I will the crowd. Then they follow me. But then when I get out on Sunday, then they will the captain. Yeah, my one now is the captain. Yeah, no, no, no. She as the leader or the 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 the, the, the chairman of the committee or this group that is coming. This is what we are saying. They will be the chairman of the committee or the organization. The Yoruba man will be the back man. But what I am very much, I go to just took a say all over the place. You don't see them in in this uh, sympathetic again now. Ndi ba ni bidetu what at wo oh I will be used all this way. How does it be? Then is a regroup wo mo hena. But even no na be kwe a group you na blame mo kwa hena hai na me na wo. With this thing ni mene na Nigeria so far. With this thing ni mene na Nigeria now. Instead of all of them will take the anger of him and Nigeria, Marge is there with this organization called IPOB that have, have battled these people for all these years to this time.
and to open their eyes. Rather, you have me walk away. Go for more. They continue to go with Igbo. You know, they get me their own, their own separate Saint Patrick, their own separate Saint Patrick. And now, Igbo, you do what is Igbo people stands for here? Now, let please understand what I'm saying. Where I'm coming from? If you ask now, what the as you people identify yourself as ordinary Igbo people here, group here in in Saint Patrick or wherever you do with. Now, what is the history of Ndi Igbo? Are you selling, telling the world that uh, Igbo people have been marginalized in Nigeria and have been killed, annihilated, hated, humiliated, destroyed, business destroyed? Is that, uh, are you saying that, are you passing that message? The answer is no. You just yiri shiago as your identity, your custom. But Igbo people have been massacred every day in Lagos. Killed every blessed day in Lagos. Igbo people are being killed in the north now as we speak. As we speak. The news there is not even coming out. Because on Hanez and Dibu, Gragana Jonathan, good luck Jonathan, uh, go during his uh, tenure, they collected five billion, five, five, not five million, five billion, not to report any or repatriate any Igbo person killed in the north. Because all the mag revert in the north, in my hand, in the north. Or Hanes and Dibu are in a group with Gragana Jonathan, five billion. So, you know, we're going to go to the house. I get a blood dozy. I get a new house. So, a good new thousand new house. Now, you got anybody who put a close on you, no lock. And the mother who draws what came in, carpet, guinea, or guinea. You're here, and I told you, my boy, and people can be my can be in here. Let's show me. They are playing with a small video for a couple of days. Mayegun, Mayegun, share. Even Mayegun was the one sharing. Mayegun is the one sharing the killing of Ndibo. Nah, no house. Like this, Dada man, Mkoronyara, the other day, which I withdraw my statement calling him. He's not. Because he said this in fact. Oh, well, Dada man, I know that that people are spiritual. Very spiritually inclined. But he ended up in the church. He would have been a that person. He had a court to all his. He had Jesus to court to all his. Court to all that. We mean a lot of things. I want to court to all that. He said that he would have been a good person. Anybody where that person should be protected. No law. All the can they have been. All the can they have been. They should be protected. And that. They are being protected uh, and you have respect. These are these are what make us who we are. These are our identity. These are who this to tell you that humanity begins from us. I am on the other one. We are the salt of this earth. And we hear the one has how many places you can get on the other one. 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 On a libo. Everything we have it. This is Hanes and Dibo went and collected 5 billion. And even Dibo Nuka also came back today. Nobody hears the killing of an Igbo man in Nuka house. Unless more wounded, the somehow the board enough for her, 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 no around the video team or where the report here will be on social media. Not as before. Now, he will and Dibo Nuka house and Akanu. Kanu to be precise. Nobody is saying anything. My good folks go the first shot to my idea. And when he will and Dibo need to be And when I'm watching, I'm going to go to the next level. I'm going to go to this thing. This is exactly what we are talking about. Does he go, uh, 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 what do you call this one? Uh, this useless old, old cargoes, I call them. They call themselves for. Uh, 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 World Igbo Congress. Very useless old people. Very useless. Useless to the core. They based in America. Very hopeless. Hopeless and useless. They based in America. Have they said anything? Have they said anything? I'm asking. You see what we're saying? Have they issued any communique? Of killing of people, destroying businesses in Lagos and the whole across the entire zoo. Igbo man are being hunted down like a rodent. Like a rodent in the rules and abo.
As I said before, only you will not get any men and give a heck lemon on our way part of now or chill be an acca or Mahony gave me a tat from, from the back. Or more you, or more you, 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 you've seen some of the video now. Or more you, naibu, or more naibu, naibu, kill him, kill him, catch him. Hakubo nibu. And somebody will be here doing, we are in a shag who celebrating. Very far away from the reality of his own people he claimed to be a part of. When we say that they say we are we are insulting, we are very aggressive. But on your can one woman here like this, he shall not buy here. Support to IPOB with the people fighting. I the same IPOB branch are the ones who are still fighting and creating and raising awareness across the world about the killing of you who is wearing useless Ishago in a in our mind the value the, the value and the the man the reason of Ishago you don't know it you don't know it you don't know what Ishago stands for you don't know the respect Ishago commands you see an a moron who have not said anything concerning the killing of our people you are Ishago near on a paradigm this place and have had and you want us to be respecting them? You want me to be go and be in such useless organization? People who doesn't know the value, who does, who are far from the from 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 what is happening back home. This is what we are saying. Look at the killing of our Igbo people. It didn't start today in Lagos. Our people are not hanunt. The same people Igbo here Igbo how how many million? How many million to Igbo How many million? Ebu ndi bo 1967. The man who could here say the man I am going here before 1947. The man I could here. I mean this interview 1967. I am going here 1947. So he saw what happened 1947. He reflected it. No one at Lagos, no somebody engineer at this thing and all Britain was engineering the killing and the, the massacring of Igbo people on the bank. Catherine Alan came and engineered it. Look at a useless woman who that have no self-respect. Look at what happened in the election. Look at what happened in Lagos. That this woman who don't know Jiri Jiri, this woman can Catherine Lang now come out in the social media and say that Nigerians should be proud of their presidential election. Now, is it how election is conducted in UK? Is it how election is being conducted in UK? Catherine Alan, I'm asking you, Britain. Is this is how election is being conducted? How many people killed in in UK's election? Referendum of Scotland. How many people were killed? How many ballot papers were snatched? How many ballot papers were burnt? Pulling boots. How many pulling boots were burnt in UK? I'm asking. Catherine Alang and the British High Commissioner, whatever you call yourself, and the British Prime Minister. And all these people, all this crime that they committed, even their so-called Amnesty International, claimed that IPOB was trying to disrupt election in the Southeast. And the Southeast, they claim, as they, according to how they, you know, put us, the same Southeast now, we are, is, they have the most peaceful, credible election in the whole contraption, in the whole zoo. Now, if IPOB was um, uh, leading, uh, was violence, according to the way they are trying to blackmail us, after they did not succeed, after IPOB managed to, you know, asmart them over the, tra the trap they laid for us, now this 2023 20, election, IPOB overjumped them, oversmart them. The thing is shock Britain. He shocked Catherine Malang. He shocked the Zoo politicians. He shocked the Zoo government. How did IPOB escape this? How? How did IPOB escape it? Immediately, not less than a month, not less than up to two weeks, election was uh, immediately. They went and listed a peaceful indigenous people of Biafra to the number uh, 10 most de de deadliest terrorist organization. Can you believe such thing? Can you believe such thing? Now, the question we are asking, election has been conducted in Lagos. We saw how it happened. Many people have been killed. Lagos has been on unrest now. In the last one week, Igbo people have been hunted down. All over the place. Business is destroyed. So, 
who are the terrorists there? Who are these thugs doing this in Lagos? And what are their intentions? This is the question we are asking the world global terrorists and the world powers and the Western world who came and supervised the election, the counting of people. Because they told you they send the the British quickly and the Europeans quickly send their foreign observers so that they can nail IPOB. They can have a report on IPOB. And IPOB has smattered them because we know. We live here now. We know how elections are being conducted. We know how they respect. You don't dare go anywhere pulling boots to mess up. And mess up any democratic election here. He gang here. He got, got life imprisonment. You're on America. I sent him a sentencing here for hanging or firing squad. All on China, all firing, all firing squad. You all on a head of Dubai, all man, her election about. Oh, she can get blue. I got popular in a public. They see she can do a gym in a court area. Oh, I'm here. But Catherine Alang lead this most violent, violent election we have ever seen since the beginning of, since the inception of Nigeria. And this woman has the ball to come out and tell Nigerians that you should be proud of your family. Basically mocking at you as, as, as monkeys and baboons, you people are. I have got you. No, no, woman, no man. Now you people, you know, my here. You people don't know. Now you should be proud. <laughs> you should be proud. Of, <laughs> you should be proud of uh, yeah presidential election. You people do well, and your local newspaper carried it. None of you went and asked her. Excuse me, Mr. Ma Mr. Woman, Mr. High Commissioner. Uh, can you explain to us with all this uh, violence in Lagos, violence in the north, violence in Abuja, violence everywhere, killings of you uh, and the snatching of ballot papers, pictures and videos, uh, you know, of, uh, um, uh, um, uh, INEC officers being killed, some of them injured, some of them being uh, 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 intimidated, uh, you know, uh, 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 numbers being falsified, everything. Can you tell us what makes this uh, uh, incredible? Or credible election. Uh, can you tell us what you mean? Can you explain to us? Tell us which area that you have your information that election went very well. I don't know if how many of you, if you have seen the 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 the, the, the what do you call it? The interview they conducted. They conducted on a on a, um um uh, uh, what what is his, his name? Bill Gates. Bill Gates of all people. Have you seen the interview? I, I don't know where I can get it now. Let me see if I can get that to see, to tell you how, how things have been done. Bill Gates was confronted today with, her, with his evil. COVID-19. They asked him. They, it's a woman, no, not a man, a woman. Sat by a jojo kongu as three as a criminal he is. The gate. Do I see her? You claim to be the 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 founder and this of uh, Microsoft and the computer and all the rest of it. The, the woman said that you are not. You stole it from so 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 person with a couple of dollars. So you are not. And then I said, okay, how about that computer stain aside? Now, uh, what do you got to do as a computer scientist? What do you got to do with the uh, COVID nineteen? That out of COVID nineteen, you make billions. I see now. Uh, so it's, uh, the way, that's the way he said it. It's, it's a ridiculous. Or it's, it's a stupid question or something. Uh, it's, it's something. Be gate. Can this thing happen in Africa? Can any journalist? The only attempt Shogun of uh, Channel Television managed to manage to to ask Catherine Alang, her mingling with the zoo and the election, and uh, Catherine Alang. <laughs> Until the camera was turned off. Because she did not expect that question from a slave. She she fall apart all over the place. Because the question, she did not expect that question to come. That was the very one single question. The journalist was bold to ask the woman. And she fall apart immediately. Because she thinks that she's untouchable. Nobody can. She thinks she owns Nigeria. She's the de facto president. Nobody can question. She used this mantra of nobody can question the president of Nigeria. 
nobody can question any hierarchy somebody and today look at the nightmare she have caused in nigeria nigerians money are you telling me country in iran did not know that the scarcity of money people are suffering uh, uh, an old woman in the village now that doesn't have a computer doesn't know how to operate phone is using touch phone how is she going to transact business or sell her pepper and uh, her ogre or her green leaves how is she going to sell it and collect money how all these things are happening in the east salvation of money and now, as soon as they know that Igbo people, all your money you left in the bank, you have been clutched, they have seized it. Now they have open attack on Igbo people now because you don't even know how to find, buy something to defend yourself. And we have Igbo flavors here in Europe, in Germany, in Ireland, here in the UK, in America, in everything. And they cannot even support what IPOB is doing. They don't even come out. They are waiting when Biafra will come. They will come. They will come with their portfolio. They will come and speak plain English. They will tell you the achievement in America. They are what you can have find. They are discovering. They are they are they are the chief founder of this one. They make this one. They did this one. They will implement it. Now they will all come. Now the other city. Now we have to bring the educated ones to run the zoo. But now, with our own stupid brain, now we have been fighting those who claim they are wise. To go there, man, they use and then I make it. And I know I go now. I want to move on. Actually, these fools will come with all over the place with their bag. They will come and say, "Hey, yeah, we are sorry. Hey, we didn't know." Some of them will say that at that time, you know, my wife was well sick, was uh, heavily sick. Uh, my wife was heavily pregnant. Some of them will say, "My husband that time, you know, you're not happy again. You don't know what she means." He bring all sort of useless excuses that claim they are smart. You know, they use what? Before they had a church in the Europe, the same church in the Europe had contributed to that. Hannah lot as the same Yoruba talks a one day attack. Buasha he she one day will destroy your business. Stop one from you can imagine Igbo man is not coming out in Lagos now boldly. Because the man how he didn't do now they can go one day one day how many millions they grew years ago. You went and invested all your life in Lagos and Abuja. It's in the man ala wood ala wood. Now they have come after you now, playing you with your properties. And being stupid you are, sometimes he said, he said that, oh, after all these years of effort and investment, I, will, I, will, I won't run, no. I will stay here and fight it on. Some of you who said that Igbo man shouldn't, uh, uh, we shouldn't encourage them to be a coward, to not to leave Lagos, not to, they should stay there and fight. You fight, again. Every man will fight, I will like it. Oh, time no know that now. Despite that, na any racism, any hand. Actually, the house and there no here. Lawa, when na no home be a bit logo. I get my chores or go out the nearest country. Even go no go to go round them first. But in the one last lah, you know lah. Eka hechi when be high blood, ebuli shi ubuto. Onya mo na mo na ebuli shi ubuto. That property ya e ure pui. Ndo go pani ije. We have been sounding this one today. Eka hupa ndi kana ege go ala na Lagos. Gaga go a whole emo river or river. I be able to feel the way. If you child, the Yoruba man, I be a moyok. I say you know about lock now. Once a property is is burnt in Lagos, you lose the whole um any level. So now I got to go and buy a door, a bill door, whatever they call it. All the investments of Indi Bodi Abaro. And when anybody come past the train, we saw it on the that Sunday, the day many. How bomb blew the place to pieces because they want to use the place now. The bomb it, you see people's leg. And when they are not had the car, it's split all over the place. These are evil sons and daughters. They mention you here. You people still never learn a lesson. You will not tell lesson here. I will not see the again. Oh, some of you, you believe that I get where I am. Can I so get so? Mazen nam the kana nyi nyanu kwa nae me hai nae me na agbaru na ma hena ge bia this situation no no hu no na nyanu kwa na agu ni le kwa no na ge bia le kwa mbo ja bia precise time and date ai na agu ni no no mle wo eh o ku pe wo no ho chori di na yo no president ai na agu no president o nyi why lu no hu came in 2019 here 
because of that, because of P2B was there, Mazin Nam the Khan called off the boycott of the election because of his own brother. Sometimes, if not, not to say to we are sorry everywhere. We are sorry. Yeah, now we understand that we are. 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 My moon, my good upon you, no, 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 you repeat to be not blackmail on social media. Some of you say no so any is so open I mean that say not support here. No so my high name. The same idiot of that say none the canos wife na na barista idiot for now now I'm on him. Who not to worry at? He's doing well. He's doing well. Oh, the past people be okay. Not con. Oh, see how one you bape. Of course, not one you. This man did not attack any other or no, any other person. He constantly focused on people. Name attack. Name tweet. Name tweet. A woman maka yoruba jiga jori na tweet here. Yeah, ye tweet. Woman maka yoruba he li tweet. Ye tweet. He had copy the link of his tweet. He get it in a group. Eba hano. He li tweet twenty thirty times. What they call them were a lot of retweets. Unama yuno wu omo aka tunu bukuru go. Opa no number oge lope no. Bure fu no gara ha na Lagos. Woro 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 ego na ba tutu tara ta nya ha free datas. Unu follow with this guy na pepe ma na fiona no follow we. Na anything no tweet re. Ofu onye copy the link. Ti nya na the group ha no they will retweet it. Oro ma yuno 1000. 1000 na he retweet it three times. When you two or three different accounts, a believer post with anything against P2B to retweet it. You post anything against IPOB, you people retweet it. Konaga, you post anything concerning a uh, uh, Biafra, uh, IPOB, you know, you know, me, you know, retweet it. You post anything against a uh, Barista Joffo, no, no, retweet it. Anything that will bring his BND down, bring IPO, no one at that door to condemn about, no, no, retweet it. And they retweet it, and they offer money, and they meet within themselves that place. This is Tunuba now, Kumogo. But yeah, they say, yeah, they say, yeah, they say, yeah, three contestants are there. He chose to fight his own brother to death because none are ready. Umoko kono here, eh? Why not? You uh, know, uh, 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 he's the one talking. Uh, up there, there's the DOS. Eh, uh, eh, uh, uh, DOS are criminals. Yes, they are criminals. They sell uh, uh, our leader. The same thing go on years ago. So now, I said, the Amaha Yaga Hagog, no, we go on you, Bogo. No, we'll get not only Boga, I can get with you, you could wait for him. Exactly, have like them employed now, and it has been working. Some of you now, my hand yellow, and then I can't get out. I can't get out that idiot in Finland. They say, My friend, can you deny that I'm not a computer? This Peter B, despite that, my son, I'm the kind of Peter B. Burundi IPOB, Bo Bia France during his tenure. Oh, more so, Bo Hongo, or for the kind of prison today. Under Peter B's um, governorship, uh, whatever he, he was at the time. But on the world election 2019, here, despite that, no one no will back man, any man, no one his uh, deputy, article, because of saying, no, I can't come here anymore. Only in this one here, one day, only one day. Niaga ha, niaga ha, we part of it. We are going to carry on how to live. This is what we are saying. You see that now we know what we are doing. 
Niaga ha wear part of. Even though nine are chong long fine. But niaga ha wo an instrument of it will be a I meet in the leadership. They do us. We start we talk. We debate the the losses and gain and the whole thing is not gonna generate. Tony and do take that bold decision. He call off the 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 boycott of the election. So our people go and do what you like. If you think he will save you, go and do it. If you think he's gonna better your life, no problem. If you think it's not necessary, you can sit at home. You can stay in your house. The same thing that happened this time around. The leadership is, now the same of Bia, despite that Harry uh, declared election. You know no kura you know put Buhari umra we win the election from grave you know na no na no na Saudi Arabia. He he won election after he has died two years. We win the election na Nigeria. Aka kupari. Now the same people be now come out at his own. The leadership of IPOB election kwa na kwa happy di kweti le. No na sinawa wa nywa me. Can they make me happy secretly? Eh, hey, no, I will be wrong. Ibo, me na mwen. Eh, and they, they not love themselves. They will put my hands. They man, the pastors have been in preaching. They will preach it. They will hundi ki. They will hundi ki. Beri be a mumu man yindi ki iri deri neja no ni mwache na church. Iri ki a mumu ha de wono to han mo glogoso. Awa mandi bo ne bo mwen. Ibo wene ne mwen. Ye mwen he de wimu to han mo glogoso. Aw, ha baka. Ibo, ibo. They will, they will be condemning themselves to high heaven. They will be condemning themselves to high heaven. You see what we are saying. And um, we saw what was coming. We decided to we decided to pull the string at the very last minute. When they have planned to destroy us. When they have mount their western world medias and local medias to blackmail IPOB. That was the time they planned to put IPOB on a war terrorist index. That was the time. That was the time they planned to do it. You understand what we're saying? That was the time they planned to do it. That after this, IPOB will be decimated. They, they did not expect it. You remember the pressure from even our own people calling on the radio. Where is the position of the leadership? Uh, we should announce this election thing coming. We should do Anya say Anya Anya No time should no no Anya. The leadership IPOB DOS have compromised. They compromise. Hey, they sold the mass and they can. Hey, they, why are they not talking about the election now? Hey, 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 but they might take advantage immediately. As a, as a serpent, I will go. Was supposed to take advantage. By to all of you. You know, I don't know how to do it. Get one to demonize the leadership of IPOB. The structure of Mazen Namdekan. Because they have plan. He was attacking the structure of Mazen, IP, the IPOB leadership. Attacking the, 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 the leadership. Attacking Barista Joffre. Attacking the finance. Attacking Pitobi at the same time. And some of you are going to say, nah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this guy Emily. Does any sense? On when here on any sense? On when any sense? Immediately during the or decide they are going to and now the whole entire east I got lock here down. And now he lock is here down. That will give more opportunity for how we see now the east. But how we go make them? Eh, now we go. He mad that we attack it. We will also attack it to IP. Now we go. We know how as after last in the middle. Even when the leadership have distanced themselves from the activities of this criminal, even when the leadership have announced that we have nothing to do with what is going on, even when we have announced it, that's it. This guy is not a member of IPOB. Press release after press release. Even the Finland journalists and the government contacted him powerful to confirm with him that this guy is on him. And I want him to hear you. Poof, there now. Now, I will go. I want him to poof, there now. Now, I will go. That guy, that guy, we will not watch out. Now, we need this actually. We need, we need, we need all of that. Say the reason Yeji, but the guy has Yeji happy up all now. The guy has to pass. No one, no one, no one can help now so na to em ha rival no one of the major problem now the guy to mourn us em one another information njim na ga heku now ngbo ga eku akwa ha me run freedom fighting 
That guy. In Homer, I won't hear your name. In Homer, I won't hear your name. I'm going to go to the Hagra na Valentine Day. I'm going to go to the Hagra. 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 On Valentine this year, Muna go ahead the Hano. I am I I I I I I information. I am who leadership for no no why or how they can which are nine amount behind them. Only do my what is doing, and we also know what we are doing. We are not here for showmanship. We are not here for personal gain or you know gap or camera and it's not. Left for me, I don't want to be on Facebook on social. I don't want it. But something pushes us to be coming out. Cause I can okay, we have to. You have to get this. This is exactly what happened. And now I go here, people. And now I go And the guy, and the moon, and the moon, And now they go the same thing. The same thing. Go on, look. That I will pay. I will give Ibo man money. He will go so cash on my He let Jafran youth. Ibo youth, Ibo youth, from a back like from Enugu, from Imo State. How can they choose go Imo State? Where are okay, okay. The reason is that you don't have in Imo State. GMN, GMN, a battlefield. There are our youth, Babo. This guy, 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 Oh my God! Could I go anywhere? How I turn, 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 go. Since this is really legal now, this is legal. You tell me how to handle Anybody can induce them with money because that's the reason why they seize all the money so they can use the use against against you people, against our own. Okay, claim more. My husband and the can ESN claim eighty there for protecting our bushes, just to to stay in the bushes. Nobody have seen them on the street. They don't come out in the on the street. All I say, my one, and we protest and again, they will come to to guide our people. From uh, you know being attacked, this idiot to our mapota, see how quite ESN, Yahoo Quake, Yahoo Quake, Yahoo Quake, will be there. No, our people in this. Look at the confession, Hannah, man. Now, I'm going to see them, look at her, her, her. Did anybody put them knife on the neck to start coming out to talk a lot to make this open confession? You're seeing them all over the place now, doing this is what we are talking about. We told you. Here who our people. Since I know an IPOB, our people are not good. They we haven't lose the kind of people. They lose in the last say, seven, eight months or one year now, at the hands of this idiot in Finland. We have not lose people. Our youth, this guy will assemble them. More gawana over. More gawana he talk. Gawana or look. Gawana give you a bar. Gawana I'm gonna camp. I don't know. Gawana in the camp. The same idiot to now will go and give signal to Nigerian military. They will use helicopter and bomb these people from air. Some of you don't know what is happening. Akwe unebe ka hapo pape jimano ne akwe. Did you not hear the audio? I'm gonna what they play around here. Where he said he will record them. Go there and camp. And he will give signal to Nigerian government. They will go there and bomb all those youths. Kill them. And they will call them ESN. To blackmail IP will be mazen nam the Kanu. Some of you are how many years? And I walk hard on the ground, establish ESN. And you never see them until when they were launched. After they were launched, you never also see them on the streets. And this guy will come on in a market. Nenugu. Sit at home and you want to get a kind of here. Call to a duke. I can call lawyer off. And the same, the same sit at home. Hey, you need our people. Need you now born. He hijacked it as well. Yeah, man, the government. On one on. Now, I call my sister at home. How many years now? Nothing. You're going to come and achieve. Oh, no, no, 150 days countdown. Just to also to sabotage P2B. He claims he is an evil man. Nasuno Nibo, Asuno no water, 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 water. To sabotage his own brother. Against him, the Lenny Hetunubu and Mara people in Lagos now. I call on your support. 
Aku wani ha supporter. Aku ha ndi ha gbara campaign against Pitobi. Lay on and now people na Lagos now. No no 150 days calm down. Now, uh oh uh, akwa ogala, what else now? What to call him so the moon engage. Ndi ri ndi na amage he. And this is why we educating our people now. So ko ha bi wu bi afra be chiri le. Some of our generation of guys, ndi nwa be ke na mekura nyo no mutira nyo no mi ayo na. We come back again. Ke wele he na. Em em every church in the church church this that eh book let's eh let's come together and forgive and forget. And let's go let's let's move on now. Let's move on. E wele bi afra na wele kwe we che kwe to act bishop of Canterbury or to Rome or to America. Be he che tazi e e da ge nyuno. Chetazi e something a ge nyuno. But now, I need Bundi Bo now. Need destroy our market. No single world organization, no leader, nobody have come to the aid of Bundi Bo now to help us. Am I aid the hagen? Yanya na, yanya na ha huya. There's no help. We have been posting everything on social media and Twitter now. Hana block hany here and there, and they for yanya suspension. My Facebook are now restriction now. That's why maybe me don't know, I don't know the number of people who are watching me because how can no restriction. This is what we are facing because we are talking about our people, how our people are being killed. Of course, Facebook have done well by allowing us to use their platform for all these years to spread this news for gospel of Biafra beyond where we are now. I, I give I give credit to Facebook. They have done a great job. If not Facebook, I don't know how far we would have gone by now. Of course, we must appreciate them. But this is what we are facing as a race, as a people. Nothing has been done in our people. No organization, even Amnesty International, is not reporting. Reporting the killing and the attacking of our Igbo police. Biafans in Lagos, in Abuja, in Kano. Amnesty is not reporting it. No other organization is. No aid, no aid coming to our land. No, no support whatsoever. If you let Biafra be now, the same way because now they are going, they are going to add any new special aid. Who know we can do? Who know we can do? We free the moon, we not run out. Angry through this hell now. We are going to have to have a puny charge again. Put the moon back into a stone age. That is why what we are doing so that some of you will keep this history. Internet doesn't lie. You will keep this history. You will listen to us in the after we have gone. Our generation, the generation will come, will now be going through these uh, documentaries and they will be seeing what we said. And so they will not fall back into this mess, I know, Nimi. This is an unfortunate situation we find ourselves. And we continue to talk and educate our people. It's very sad. It's very sad that we do not know the history. We don't even know how to protect ourselves. And Ebundi Igbo. Igbo is not in diaspora. What are they doing? Apart from IPOB, we have won award. The same people saying that Akwahama, Akwahama were information I said I would the terrorists. But in my hand, I'm here, I would ask that I would the best performance. I know the people. Ole Kaede, how many are we? The director said, how many are we? Ole Kaede. She never can just so make wrong work. From nothing to be the best in. I am telling you that cock is the biggest. I may bring your life now. You people will watch me live, please. You, I bring it live on Thursday. <laughs> it will show you how the award will be handed to IPOB Ireland. In the case of Hamlet, you shall go near Coco, Aris, here and there. Who knows them? Who knows them? I will not do But decided to, to, to forget the history of Igbo people. Igbo people are beer friends. Sometimes look at look at I want you to go back to the video, the live video. Some of you who are here, go to the live video and see how they describe the description about IPUB, the beer France. Go and listen to it. You know, the announce announce it, you know, when we appear at the dignitary area, they begin to announce our name and who we are, what we stand on, what we stand for, how many years we are here, how many zones we have in Ireland, our activities in Ireland. The woman already, everything was mentioned verbatim. Who we are as a people. Who we are. Our history, the woman already completely.
Go and listen to those. If you haven't watched that video, go and watch it. I don't even know whether my Facebook or may allow some, you know, media warriors to carry it or rattle media. I don't know what happened because I, I'm expecting it, uh, the video to go viral on social media, you know. But uh, rather, I haven't seen it anywhere. It's still on my page here. I don't know whether I didn't ask Facebook to stop rapture media from airing this because I don't know what happened there. Whether they, they, they stopped them from airing it or something because there must be a reason. And also, um, the Biafran TV did not air it. Maybe they restrict them or they stop them or maybe my hand. Hey man, any Amazon came in on social media, but how many has it not will copyright? We don't know. Okay, Maz, uh, uh, Kara Good, thank you very much. Said that um, we I watched it on uh, Biafran TV. Okay, thank you very much. If it is, if it is, I didn't know because I, me myself, I'm trying to find where it is. I could not find it anywhere. So, uh, Kara Good, thank you very much. He won't watch naked. Why, Kara Good? Hi, my sister. My, you know, everywhere I'm telling you, I'm, I must commend it. And that uh, half ever. Thank you. You guys are. You guys are awesome, honestly. And when we see some of you here, we, we continue pushing what we're doing. You people are really watching it. Please keep it on. You guys should keep it on. A cara good. I'd have, I'd have favor, you know. I see you guys everywhere. You you people are real. You know, the reason why we keep pushing, you know. Thank you very much, uh, my sister. Uh, and you people are blessed, you know. So th this is what we're saying. How many are we? How many are we? We were able to do this uh, performance that... Uh, the, now, the news is Boogie and Akoko here. The biggest newspaper in Boogie and Ireland. I'm going to share it very soon. It's just that now, the information they said that IPO is only 50. So I'm making it now so it's not, we are not 50. The information, whoever that, uh, how they just come up with it, we are only 50. Uh, that one is wrong. Dublin zone only is over, over 100 or 200 plus. If you start counting people who join us when we started IPOB Island in Dublin, we have reached up to three or 400 now. But uh, in my part, they come and go, in they end with the mental toughness or he sustain any campaign. I don't know why they are in the office now. I don't know why they are in the office. I have full and in office because I'm an onibu cannot. I have to go and go and go and go and go and go and go. I have the full and the full and and the Europeans will will plan their thing and wait patiently until the time arrives and they'll be working towards that that project. But an evil man in her time. I in my business. I'm still gonna in his way and as well today, yet tomorrow. I more here now. The thing I got, I got. I did have over that. No, I have an FL. I'm a way. I left him with the Afro with the idea every time. The Afro and the can. And I was a man. I just see. And I'm working in my business. You won't you want to go easy. But you don't feel man on and then they in the in the full and the group. They work towards projects. Muslim, Muslim ticket here now. Do you know how long they have been working for it? Do you know? They keep pushing. Pushing. Keep pushing. The same man, as I've said here, the same man who who said that if he see a, a full name man eating Nigerian man's leg on the street, he will support it. This is the person who is the vice to Tunubu. Somebody make this your trance is open. Me, I won your full and in you a Nigerian man's leg. It doesn't matter, my one year, you're back all you open or won or won your house. I call you open up or on your flat. Identify themselves as if he sees a full and man eating a Nigerian man's leg that he will not say anything again. Oh, that is the man now vice vice to Tunubu. Basically, he's the president because I got people to Tunubu. I believe him now. On at Nubu Banyadi and I hate the gun one mask to Nubu and you get ye and a more on a happy boy. I can't rotate you, okay, Jubre, okay, keep carry a rotation. I was a case, I know, I know, like a, I don't like a Kajagaban, not that I tire. All this time, Ogra, 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 how to go the mask, that the silicone mask. In case a happy boy, Yago Zem would have gone to Kuku, the back man, and with an hour on it is a contrast usual. That is why. It might not take me to get to this point. The people work very hard. Now, let me tell you something some of you do not know. I immediately after the election, I took up the BMA, Abrakata, Abrasia, and protest. The article is protesting. The question I'm not sure, what is article protesting for? He didn't win the election. He didn't even come second. So what is he protesting for? Eh? What is he protesting? He protesting for nothing. He want to be 
actually deceive him to be dead. And the man at the time, the time they take it. The longer this thing they take it, it will be obedient and not as him for protest or he come out for anything. So how about be cheer in most of the flan? How about be cheer ahead of time? You know that protest they had. Keki puno, you know, down. Now I want to name a protest. So now that we may But instead of this in do be the obi idiot in their gap, take the opportunity to flood also the streets while these ones are protesting. They start their own. Here my hand or quiet. Until then, you may have for a couple of days, may for a couple of days, how my uncle Because you know, you name me, all man and his brother are not there. Not only the appetite and be able to be chairman with this protest, and don't be there to put a being pushed way hard on it. They could, you know, reverse the decision of the, you know, fraudulent election. So he has to do that. Because we can push into obedience. You see, very subtle, clever man. Let me play this thing again and then I will summarize. If you want to call in, you have my number there. Uh, I know that I didn't pin it. Just go back to the the page there you will see the number there if you want to call in for two minutes i will give you a chance to call in and contribute if you wish to otherwise i will just uh, end this uh broadcast i just wanted to draw the attention of what is happening in lagos that our people you have if you, i don't know if you have even any more time now to join ipob to support what we are doing now um i don't know i don't know if you have any other time because these people i think you go over and i got soon up. I got soon up. Oh, here I am. Tell my name. We don't. I don't feel sorry anymore. Don't feel sorry. I got soon up because who knew me? I knew now who knew me? No, no, who only issue she and you people more face the repercussion. I'm going to wear the repercussion. I know what I'm going to draw. You're going to repercussion. Oh, it's the law of the karma. And I hear me. In the boon, you're going to all of you who are la and he So I pure be me. Betray my son, I'm the canoe. Betray moon for a PVC. Who now known a legacy? Now queen. I Our job here will be talking about it, and nobody else, you know. Only on this before I get mount to any counter offense. I guy now. I got to get I wanted to play the voice of you know. Um, um, let me before I play. This, let me just play this again one more time. Let me just play this again one more time. Cyprian Quincy, last time you and I met was uh, in the Pleasant Garden in Lagos, at the time when you were um, information chief for the Nigerian government. I had hoped to see you again, but I must say in more, in happier circumstances than at the present. Uh, at that time, did you have any premonition, any feeling that something like this would happen? No, I didn't have any feeling that something as disastrous as this would happen, but everyone had a feeling of impending disaster from the way the census figures were being rigged, from the way the election results were being played about with. Everybody felt that something was coming, something really ominous, but nobody could predict the, the, the depth of it. No. But we this all had this sense of doom hanging over us. In fact, the word revolution was mentioned a number of times, but it was a strange thing. No one had ever had what a revolution was or experienced it. But people knew something bad was coming. Yes. Yes. Did you uh, uh, stay in Lagos for some time after the outbreak Lagos. of uh, some Lagos. hostilities? Oh, yes. I stayed in Lagos nearly a month. Uh, not the outbreak of actual fighting, but... Um, when um, the Ronzi regime was overthrown, there was a sort of vacuum. People didn't know what would happen next. And I was in Lagos up to that time until I started getting evidence that uh, my neighbors were being taken off in the night and killed. So self-preservation is the first law of nature. I had to escape. They did that in Lagos? Well. They did that in Lagos, yes. They did that in Lagos as well. In fact, we have a boy on the federal ministry who barely escaped death. But his companion with whom he was kidnapped was actually killed. He's here in Biafra. So when you were, the word the genocide which we hear in connection with the with the war here. Is, Thank is, you, Mazoka, uh, for, for uh, putting people, that number there. Please, uh, somebody can, uh, if you want to call in, please, you can call in now. If you don't, you know, up the problem. Well, my real opinion is that once Biafra has succeeded in proving that there is an intention for genocide. This is all we need. Exactly what and I we have ample evidence now. of that. Genocide is genocide the is ethnic coming. extermination of a people. You hear it? You prove genocide when everybody has been killed. 
Biafrans do not want to wait until everybody has been killed. They have seen the signs of the intention. The same thing. Um, Ayub is doing uh, people now. were killed in hundreds of thousands. The war has come. It isn't a war of unification, as we are told. It is a war of extermination. Uh, girls are being abducted and married off to strange people. Is that uh, what is happening now? All the various things you do so as to com commit genocide are being done. We don't want to wait until it is complete. Therefore, we have the intention. By the way, all this began many, many years ago. As far back as 1947. Uh, Biafrans were attacked in Kano in 1953. Ah, the same thing happened. Kano again today. Genocide Lagos is not spontaneous. It's a subtle process, subtle which is process. a result of government propaganda. Government a propaganda. government the now government. uses the organ which it uh, uh, which should be used for protecting a people. It turns in that that organ against the people and starts killing them using the government means, and everybody is indoctrinated to hate a particular class of people to want them out of the way to want to kill them this is what we are you listening is this is this is not a video of today if you look at the picture here look at the video look at the man confessing making this confession this is it 1967 look at it look at it 1967 exactly what we are saying government used their parasitas to instigate violence against a particular set of people in Nigeria. And the same Igbo people have said, the same thing IPOB have complained today. Said, accused Nigerian of, Nigerian government of. The same thing Katrina Lang now accusing, using the government parasita against IPOB. Uh, Amnesty International saying that IPOB was planning a, 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 a election disruption in IP, in, in Southeast. Just to hate Igbo, hate IPOB. Just to get Igbo to hate IPOB. Hate Mas and Nam the Kano. Nam the Kano has been acquitted. Thank you very much. Mas and Nam the Kano has been decided and acquitted. And till today, till today, nothing has, um, nothing has changed. And they haven't discharged him. They rather get our people to hate him more. This is exactly the situation we found ourselves in. Thank you very much for coming around once again. Since I did not see anybody calling in, it is what it is. And I will come back again uh, in the next uh, uh, couple of days. Uh, more especially, follow me here on Mazoba, and also uh, I'm also coming through Biafran New Stock as well. You can also follow us there. We'll be, you know, uh, disseminating our information in all multiple platforms that as much as we can. We want to make sure that our news goes viral. So you can go there on Mazoba, follow me there, or you follow us. On Biafran news talk that's another channel there as well that we are using to disseminate this information and that's all you can do we are not saying to pay us just go there and follow us we'll be disseminating this information as much as we can in any platform in anywhere like I said the the, the biggest giant newspaper here have carried the news of IPOB Ireland uh, you know on our participation and performance in St. Patrick and we are going to bring it live to you on Thursday. I will show you, I will, I will update you guys on those platforms, what time that will be uh, a in it. It's a 600 kilometer travel. I will travel, I will drive to Cork just for service of IPOB. Nobody's paying us. We spend our own. Okay? So please follow us in those uh, uh, platforms and we're going to be bringing the whole news to you and the way it's happening and update as well. And uh, I love you all, as you all know. What we're doing is just to uh, what we are saying is out of love, not out of malice or not out of hatred. Or I cannot hate myself. I, hating an Igbo man is like hating myself. So and I'm a proud Igbo man. I'm a proud IBOB. I'm a proud Biafran. Uh, nobody can deny that uh, identity from me. And I'm not going to deny it. I, I'm a Biafran. I'm a proud IPOB. If you like, uh, you blackmail me to eternity. If you like, put IPOB in the 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 the, the highest uh, terrorist. Uh, we don't give a toss. We are indigenous people. You can't come and call me a terrorist in my own land as an indigenous person. It's like calling an Irish man a terrorist in their own land. You all got like a there. Why British have committed genocide against indigenous people for how many thousands of years? And they are the one accusing the people that they killed oh, six, six million or seven million uh, just a couple of years ago. 
and their prime minister said the killing of Biafrans, the death of Biafrans, will not change the policy, the British policies, policy on Nigeria. It was them. They are the ones that are now listing us. And America is following them. America now, America, the same America who President Clinton a couple of weeks, months ago, came out and said that their silence over the, 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 the killing of Biafrans is a bad thing, the, the worst mistake they made. Clinton said it. President Clinton came out on social media, world television, and said that they were silent and allow indigenous people to be massacred in Nigeria. And the same people could only be as a nah, 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 kuzoku, ndini le, make a threat to the Western world, allow her of fire, gumi, all of them who come openly and say terrorists are their warriors. You did not do anything to them. And then the people who are carrying flag now won't do anything. How oh, they number 10? Who so who are we terrorizing? Who? By carrying flag, by winning a war here, in participating among other nations. Is that how we are terrorizing people? We are not going to allow that to happen. We are proud of IPOB and we remain IPOB. We remain Biafrans, indigenous people of Biafra. This is who we are. If you don't like it, go to the nearest uh, lagoon and help yourself there. Thank you very much again once for listening to me and for continue to follow us here. And we will continue to bring it to you the way it's happening. And of course, we are moving forward. Uh, for these people, all these histories that you are seeing coming out now, I think it was it from a couple of days ago that I told you that Ireland Irish started airing the Biafran War and what happened during what transpired and everything. So there is something I want to Biafra. That is how it's going to happen. Everything happening around us now are gearing to the Biafra restoration. That's where we're going. And we are relentless. Thank you very much once again for listening to me. I remain your brother, your humble servant, Mazi Isaiah, and uh, have a blessed week. And remember, I will see you on Thursday once again. Thank you very much, and bye from here. No one.